payback period. Which? How long is it going to take to pay back an energy savings, the cost of implementing oh, the gotcha, change? Gotcha. Okay. Uh, the most important one, the easiest and quickest payback period is foam insulation above the ceilings. Foam insulation above the ceilings. Yeah. So not, not the back insulation. The okay. What they could, I don't know what's been done up here, but if it was the old blown in insulation they had, you know, many years ago, that could all be backed out. Okay. And all the ceiling rafters that there uh, could all be blown in insulation. The payback period is less than two years. Payback period less than two years. So, if you, so you have, suggest that rather than dual painting the windows. Yes. Okay. Yes. The dual paint windows, the payback period is never. Oh, okay, okay. Never. All right. You'll never pay it back. It, in fact, it will be a cost. Okay. The life expectancy of a dual pane window uh, in the Phoenix or Southern Arizona here is less than six years. Okay. East and west side, within three years, you're going to be replacing those. What they do on a dual pane window, this is all one section, one piece of glass, and they have these mutton's configuration on the inside or outside or, or between the panes of glass. The historic preservation department is going to make be sure that this window looks like this. Yeah. Um, what happens is due to the extreme heat, that rubber seal that's around there because there's an inner gas in there to prevent it from you know fogging up uh, uh, with the change in temperatures. In Arizona that heat is so high that rubbers do not hold up and you'll get a little crack in the, in the rubber Air gets in there and then it fogs up like your mirror. Sure, I've seen you that. You have to replace the whole inner panel. That's one third the price of the window, and there is no warranty for it. So it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Interesting. The other thing is the appraisal company. You probably you're in the business. There's a company that does the appraisals of the houses. Yeah. Okay. Starting in January of 16, uh, 17, January 17. Those agents, when they came to historic houses, reduced the value of the house around 15% if it had dual painting windows in it. Oh, interesting. Because what happened was, this is the original character of the house. It's such a predominant architectural feature because if you look around the house, about 15% of your wall surface is windows. Yeah, right. The newer houses, they're just, you know, small ones, maybe yeah. less than 10%. Uh, that it changed the The other thing is that when you look at the house from the, like from the street side, you go down the street, there is a green kind of a wide shimmer to the window. Okay. You can t drive down these streets 25 miles an hour and you can look at a house and tell them the windows have been replaced. Oh, interesting. A lot of times they don't put this <clears throat> mutton on the outside, they put it between the panes of glass and it looks different. Okay, gotcha. You can look at it real quick and know it's been changed. Yeah, right. The buyers today are historic character uh, buyers. They want that historic. And what was happening, the flippers in the neighborhood that bought the little smaller houses were changing those. And then they came time to sell them, they got a reduced appraisal on them. They were thinking they could increase the probability of selling the house if they had dual pane windows. Not so. But because when you get into these homes here, when you get four or five hundred thousand, People want original. Yeah, right. Now, there's things you can do. Uh, you may be familiar with the R number. Yes. This for insulation. When it came to dual pane windows, the industry decided that that's not a good number, and it's a federal number, on insulated quality of, of the window. So they use, the, they use a decimal number with about five digits and nobody understands. They like that. <laughs> but, but the R number, on the best dual pane window on the market today made by Pella with a five